that's just the way it fucking is. Give any limitations? No. Oh, okay. I don't think I need it. Okay, so this girl told us that she's open to anything. She said she loves my style and she got a gothic forest fairy. So have fun with this one. I'll start in the middle here. We did this super cute floral dress. I have to show you the brand, it's so cute. It's Cinnamon Girl. The Lana Del Rey girls out there. And then we paired it with this vintage cardigan that's adorable, screaming forest fairy. And we paired it with some gothier accessories since this was more on like the forest fairy side. So we paired it with the rabid choker, the eye girl rosary. And then we gave her some fishnets to also grunge it up a little bit more. We did this insane skirt. It has like all these crazy panels on it. This like purple gingham and like lace. And then let's see the brand on this guy. It is Uru. Cool. Paired it with this awesome corset. It's like almost Vivian Westwoody, the shape. But yeah, it's also a phase piece. And it has like a little satin black bow in the front. And we paired it with the black bow sleeves. And we wanted to do like a little bit more dainty of an accessory stack up here. So we did our tart necklace and the strawberry stud. So it like matches a little bit. Oh yeah, we also paired the bag with this outfit. There's like pink in this floral and our Fallon wings are on the pinky magenta side. So I thought that would tie in really nicely. And then for her fun extra, we gave her one of our Fallon sets. So she'll get the booty shorts and the crop top. And she could totally wear it with the bag from this outfit and have like whole matching look. So we just finished a teacher's pet bundle and they had sent us their Pinterest board, which had a lot of like Sarah Michelle Gellar and Buffy and Bella Hadid and um, Jawbreaker like stills in there and Olivia Rodrigo. And they also mentioned that they liked this one outfit in one of my YouTube videos where I was wearing like a, a green like chartreuse slip and like a white tee underneath. And they said that their one love was that they love semi-sheer slip dresses. So we actually didn't want to finish their bundle until we found them the perfect semi-sheer slip dress. And in a similar colorway to the one they mentioned um, that they saw in my YouTube video. Okay, let's get into it. So first off for their first option, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. <laughs> So first option, we tried to give a super Bella Hadid like street style vibe while also keeping it in the teacher's pet category. So we did this vintage sweater vest by DKNY in the 90s. It has that awesome old tag and we paired it over a classic Express 2000s baby tee that they can layer um, time and time again. So, and they also mentioned that they love our rosaries. So we included our classic eye world rosary and we did our strawberry studs and the um, doomed headband, which just gives like little studious angel vibes. And then we paired it with this classic black skirt down here by Newport. And then this fuzzy marabou trim little mini handbag. And then we also just like threw in one of our um, diaries that was giving some teacher's pet vibes. And then over here, yeah, I'll pop up the outfit that they referenced when they emailed us about their bundle. It was like a lime greeny slip dress that I was wearing. So we included one for them. Let's see the brand. This is a vintage Morgan Taylor Intimate Semi Sheer Slip. And we're gonna recommend in their letter that they pair it with the Express Baby Tee from this outfit underneath here. So it's basically um, a replica of that outfit that I was wearing. And then we gave them some dead stock beige tights that they could wear under there. And then we paired it with another rosary, our Lilith rosary stacked with, oh my God, I'm like getting this all tangled, with our locket. And we did the charmed bracelet, the uh, ring pack, and they also mentioned that they love hoops, our hoops, so we included the she-double hoops and these tortoiseshell mini frames up here. Their fun extra 
We included the City Triangle's 90s blazer. There's lots of blazer looks on their Pinterest as well. So, and they can literally pair this with all of the other outfits that we included, like with this outfit or that one. And then we also included this Mandy Y2K plaid skirt. They can also mix and match with like the white baby tee over there and wear it with this. And it's just like classic teacher's pet vibes. And then we're also throwing in a pair of our Argyle socks that work with honestly both of these outfits as well. But yeah, there it is. So this girl told us that she wanted us to choose Mogoth, Gothic Forest Fairy, or Romantic Vamp. So we chose for her. We definitely went for a romantic vamp vibe, but we definitely kind of kept in mind that she liked those other themes too. And then her center measurements. And she said that I generally wear all black everything and avoid color. I love silver, fishnet, spikes, leather, and everything spooky. And yeah, basically that's it. Um, she sent us some photos of her too. So we kept those in mind when we were styling. So over here, we did this, she said she loves leather and we had this PVC two piece that was like a G string and a matching top with like this micro mesh portion up here. And I thought she'd be into micro mesh since she said that she loves fishnet. So yeah, we included this duo and we paired it with our Halloween cleaver pendants and she said she loves everything spooky. She said she loves spikes. So we thought our rabid choker and Tortura Cuff would be a great duo for her for this outfit. And then we included our She Devil Minis up here. And then we also included this Lenore book. It's like a little bit thicker than a comic. It's basically a little novel there. And then we did this classic skirt down here that she can have the G-string straps coming out of. And it has this crazy slit and it's just like classic black maxi, very romantic-y but then still on the heavy goth side, since I know she said she loves all black. And then over here, we went a little bit more romancy. We did this vintage, um, let me see the brand here. Zenobia velvet, like tube dress that I think is gonna fit her like a charm. And we paired it with a super romantic stack. We did our Halloween black pearls paired with our sold out anti-star necklace. They just like look so cute together. And then we paired it with our anarchy studs because it matches the anarchy hearts in the pearls. And then we had some fishnet, or not fishnet, they're like um, lace trim mesh thigh highs. So we paired it with those down here. And then, did I mention the red bow sleeves? No. Yeah, the red bow sleeves with this outfit. Um, Joe in the romantic vamp photo example is wearing like a red maxi skirt but I know she said that she likes to wear all black. So I thought throwing in just like an accent color of red would be better for her. Sometimes I talk so fast that I feel like I'm like huffing and puffing like I just did a marathon or something like that. <laughs> so sorry, if that sounds weird. Um, and then over here, we included a corset for her fun extra and she could pair it with the skirt from that look or uh, tons of things from her wardrobe, I'm sure. And then we included one of our screwed up headbands since she's a spooky girl that she could wear with any of these or anything from her closet. Okay, this is a gutter girl. For her things I like, she sent us her Pinterest board and her Depop. And in her Depop, there was her Instagram link. So we were also able to take a look over there. But let me pull up her Pinterest so that I could show it to you so you can get a grasp of her vibe. So she had included, yes, Ruby's screen is a little crazy. <laughs> so she likes lots of like old Vivian Westwood, Diesel, that kind of vibe, lots of muted tone, cargo, um, cargo skirts, um, layering. like layering, little black tops. Um, so yeah, here's her vibe. So she said for her things I don't like, she said, I like almost everything. The only thing I kind of don't like is animal prints, but beside that, no limitations. I know you will rock this bundle, go crazy. And then for her things I like, to take a look at her Pinterest and her Depop likes. And then she also mentioned that she loved that gray and black fuzzy queen of darkness bag that was in the photo example. But we just used that for a mall golf bundle. So unfortunately she can't get it, but if it was still around, I would have given it to her. 
So option number one over here, we did the skirt that I think she will die over and it has this like brassy hardware. And then we paired it with this brown top. And then, yeah, we included this mesh top here that she could actually pair with both of her look options. So we just put it in the middle so that you guys could picture it with both. And then, yeah, it has this like crazy uh, off to the side little scrunching here and it's kind of like metallic-y in the um, stitching. And then we paired it with our sold out button necklace in brass, which matched the hardware down here. And then we just got the haunted hats in the mail. So we were like, okay, it looks perfect over here. So she gets that. And then we also did these like brownish uh, sheer tights that she could like slash some holes into to make it like a little bit more grungier. And then over here, her deep pop likes were flooded with cargo pants. So we included these old school Union Bay cargos that are a little bit on the baggier side. And um, Joe is wearing baggy pants in the gutter girl photo example. So we wanted to give a baggier option over here. And then we paired it with our zip belt, this old Roxy bag. And we added our Omen keychain because we saw it in her Depop likes. So I wanted to give that to her. And then I like the mixture of hardwares in this outfit it has like the silver here and then this is kind of like an antique silver hardware so she has some different stuff going on and yeah it has the roxy embroidery there and then lots of vests on her pinterest board for sure so we included this 2000s vest that she could pair um like with a push-up bra underneath for like more of a hottie vibe or she could layer it with that mesh top and then we paired it with our jelly bands we did the coffin pendant the scully studs paired with her eye girl rosary and then in her depop likes we also noticed she had the eye girl pearls which didn't really work with both of these outfits but i think that after looking at her instagram she could definitely pair it with like stuff on her page so we included it as her fun extra okay here is a teen witch bundle this girl's been ordering for years she's such a sweetie i'm so excited for her to get this one she told us that she loves charmed and buffy she loves the 90s the y2k era and um she said that she has to wear all black for her work so to keep that in mind so first off over here we did this super flowy skirt that has like a satin panel kind of like a chiffon panel and this velvet panel and then we paired it with this classic black top vintage rosary that has like red beads so she gets a little pop of color and then the hardware on this rosary is like a brassy kind of like aged finish so we included our brand spanking new tart necklace that has our brass finish that'll just look like totally cute paired with that and then we did this these vintage tortoise shell frames up here and then we wanted to give her a pant look for the second option to give some Buffy vibes. I know Buffy was all about an awesome like leather pant, hot pant, a flare. So we included these Zayna D's that are like black satin and we paired it with our black zip belt. This amazing top up here. It has like a totally black lace back and then it's like, is it like purpley? It's kind of like it's violet. Like yeah, like pinky purpley. Uh, layer underneath and then the corset detailing and then we paired it with yeah a few leather accents we did the torture cuff the zip belt and the raven necklace also with our black hatchet earrings and then we threw in our fallon purse that we attached a pierce keychain to and then for her fun extra we gave her a sin skirt which will look totally cute paired with this top over here or honestly this top too but uh, yeah, I'm sure she could wear it with her wardrobe as well. This is a post-apocalyptic punk bundle, but they sent us their Pinterest board and they said that their loves were 90s Trent Reznor and that they didn't want to wear skirts. Sorry, I'm like saying things all over the grid right now. I'm like trying to remember everything at once. But yeah, they loved 90s Trent Reznor, so they were definitely more into like the rock side and they also like punk influence. So they had like a few different boards on their Pinterest. One was like post-apocalyptic punk board. And then they also had like a nineties rock and roll kind of board with um, a lot of Trent Reznor photos. But yeah, where to start? Okay, we'll start over here. So 
yeah, they said that they like to dress on the masculine side. So yeah, we decided not to include any skirts or dresses. And they said that they like a baggier pant. So we kept that in mind. So we included these distressed jeans. What's the brand on them? Big Star. And then yeah, it has awesome distressing like here and on the pockets and on the bottom trim too. And then lots of like pant chains and like belt layering and stuff in their Pinterest board. So we included this Queen of Darkness pant chain and our sold out zip belt. And we did the Scully gloves. And then we, we found this insane shrine goth top and it was definitely get, tying into their Trent Reznor influence. So we thought this would be perfect. And then we paired it with our spike choker. I think this is the last one we have around here. And then we did the anarchy studs and the scully cane. And then yeah, over here, Joe in the photo example of the post-apocalyptic punk is wearing like a camo mini skirt, but yeah, they said they didn't want skirts. So we were like, oh, let's do a camo pant. So we just found these camo cargos of like the adjustable straps over here. And um, yeah, you can also cinch it at the bottom if you want. And it definitely has more of a baggy fit. So I think it'll be perfect for them. And then we paired it with that super rare noir tee. I totally thought in my last video that it was a um, lane tee, but it is another anime called noir. So yeah, it says noir at the back. But yeah, awesome vintage tee to pair with our eye girl rosary, the torture cuff, and our haunted hat. For their fun extras, we threw in these insane leather flares that they could pair with either one of those tops. And then also this dead stock tie that they could wear over the tee or just with like a tank from their wardrobe or truly whatever. Okay. So this is a romantic vamp. She said that she does not like low rise. She loves old goth brands. And what else? She had her Depop likes. And oh yeah. She sent us her Depop and we looked through her Depop likes and there was, yeah, tons of old golf brands, lip service, all that jazz. So we got a good grasp of her personal style in there. So we actually just tried on this outfit today on one of our models because we shot one new bundle theme. So, and it fit like a charm. So we're like, oh, let's use it. So we use this red velvet maxi skirt. Joe is wearing like a deep red, um maxi skirt in the photo example so we thought that would be perf and then we included an old goth brand this queen of darkness tank that has like garter straps that will dangle over the velvet and then she had eye girl jelly bands in her depop likes so we included those for her and then we did a bracelet stack with our raven bracelet and then for her stack up here we did the eye girl rosary the totally rare doomsday amulet choker. And then yeah, the pier studs were also in her likes. And then we wanted to include a statement accessory for this look. So we included this cowboy hat that I actually just bought for myself, but then I was like, oh, look good here. So included it, it's giving blood rave. And then over here, we are also gonna keep this dress. And I was like, oh my God, I feel like she's gonna love it. So we selected this guy. It has like this crazy tassel baby pink trim and the gold ribbon up there. And it has like three quarter sleeves. And we found this at an old goth shop in Fullerton called Ipso Facto. And the lady who owns the boutique actually said that she made that back in the 90s. So it has some history. So yeah, for her necklace situation, we included the black Lilith rosary the anti-star necklace. It's like the perfect stack together. It's like super similar pearls. And then the black hatchet earrings that has like the black gem on them. And then um, some fishnet thigh highs. And then we chose that face skirt as her fun extra. And then we just ended up turning it into a bonus look. So she gets this super high cut, sexy, vampy skirt. And it has the old like phase tag on it. And then there was tons of statement belts in her Depop likes, like O-ring belts, ammo belts, the iGirl zip belt. 
So we included this belt that has like fuzzy red leopard on it and these like intense skulls. And then we included this bell sleeve face top because there was tons of bell sleeve stuff in her legs as well. Honestly, love when people send us their Depop so that we can look at their legs because that is like the most telling I feel because we'll always be like, okay, so they like this kind of style. So yes, please send. And then we also included this old Lenore comic and the pierced keychain. Okay, this chick is MySpace. It's our first MySpace famous, so excited. Um, and she said, I love crazy prints. Can we all turn this down? Yeah. Okay. I love crazy prints and patterns that are not repeated over the whole shirt, like one giant print that wraps around the entire top. She likes hysteric glamour type tops, I spy style tops. And then she told us to check out her Instagram because um, she had an Insta post with an example. So we checked that out. And any clothing print with a really cool printer design. She said limits are no high-waisted uh, skirt or pants. And then she told us the eyebrow she has. So very, very obsessed with this one. You can start here. So yeah, her main thing that she was saying to us was that she loves like a crazy statement print graphic. So I just brought in this tank from my personal closet. It's this Dolce & Gabbana tank and it has this like Tide Pod thing happening in the front. And then it has like rainbow stripes on the back and the D&G logo. So yeah, I feel like it kind of gives hysteric glamor vibes too, which she had mentioned. So you're just gonna love this thing. And then we paired it with these athletic Miami style shorts that she can also pair with the white zip belt from this outfit, honestly. But yeah, this is that. And then we also paired it with this juicy zip up that has this crazy print on the back. So she, yeah, she could wear it with this or however she wants. And then classic MySpace vibes, we included our brass knuckle exit chain. And it has like our iGirl red logo up here and like a red enamel. And then we paired it with the Starberry necklace, the Eye Girl studs, and we included one of our Eye World tiaras that honestly goes with both outfits too, but she could choose what she wants to pair it with. And then over here, we did this crazy layering stitch. We had this, this fuchsia fishnet top that we paired with this Echo Red glitter logo top i had ruby try it on just to make sure it like actually fits good on the body sometimes you layer things and i feel like it doesn't actually look good but yeah it looks super good this 2000s hollister skirt this bubble logo is so fun and then it has like rhinestones on the back and we paired it with our white zip belt the eye girl bangles and our chainsaw cord necklace and then she can also wear our Fallon purse with it. And I saw she has one of our mini wallets, like the dead end wallet when she told us her list. So she could totally pop it in there. And then for her fun extra, we gave her this Anna Bolina tube dress. That's also from my closet. And she's a New York girl and Anna Bolina is very New York vibes. So yeah, here it is. We have a demented dolly. She, um, this is mainly a Comet and Ruby creation. I just came, I had a laser appointment and they had done half of it. I just gave my final words, but here it is. Okay, so in the photo example of Demented Dolly, Nova's wearing like a vintage slip and a vintage fur coat. And that one, like the icon behind it is like Courtney Love and like, um, Babes in Toyland, like that kind of vibe. So we definitely wanted to do like a slip and a vintage cardigan. So we did this vintage, super classic black slip. It has like an awesome silhouette and then this lace trim at the bottom. And we paired it with this vintage cardigan that we actually just used for our editorial the other day. So it already has a special little history behind it. Our eye girl rosary. And Nova's also wearing one of our tiaras in the photo example. So that's going up there. And yeah, we just restocked those. So those are going to be coming back to the site shortly. And then in her deep, I like, you were like, don't forget about that. I one. know, I thought you'd forget. <laughs> stitch socks were in her Depop likes. So we were like, she definitely needs some stitch socks. And it matches into the cream and the cardigan really nice. So yeah, she could scrunch those down there with like some little Mary Janes. 
And then over here, she said she likes skirts, all types of skirts, all lengths. So, and when we took a look in her Depop likes, there was like lots of really fun statement skirts. So we included this insane skirt. It has like this satin panel in the front and this little bow so she could like ruche it however she wants. It's Miss Me. Yeah, and it's by Miss Me. There's the old tag there. And yeah, it zips on the back and it has this really awesome shape back here too. We did like, there was a lot of like corset tops, bustier tops in her Depop likes. So we included this guy, super adorable. It's kind of like a iridescent -y thread that's throughout this pattern. And then we paired it with our Eye Girl Pearls, the horny headband. She had a lot of our head pieces in her Depop likes. So that's why we gave her two. And then we did the anarchy studs to tie into the anarchy symbol there. And then we gave her a bonus look. We did this queen of darkness dress. It has like this like fishnet down here. It's like a black satin. And yeah, it has like boning in the back and it's totally dead stock. We did our rabid choker. She obviously needed a choker. And yeah, another thing I just wanted to mention is we really like to base it on the person. like. In the photo example, Nova was wearing an all white dress, but her Depop likes were like predominantly like all black and like super gothy. So we wanted to keep that in mind. So it's like definitely things that she'll love and wear. Um, so yeah, rabid choker and did a pair of black fishnet thigh highs. So it'll like tie into the fishnet there. And then we're feeling crazy. And we gave her one last little bonus item, this vinyl tutu skirt. And it has like lace down here and like multi-layered and this big satin bow. And it's dead stock by this brand Burlesca, which has awesome, awesome tutus. You should look it up. And yeah, that's her fun extra. We have a gothic forest fairy. She said that she grew up in a really Christian family and she was never really able to express herself. So now she wants to like explore her gothy side. Okay, so for one option over here, we did this fairy vintage tea by The Mountain. But it has this awesome graphic with this baddie fairy on it. And we paired it with our Lilith Rosary, a Tortura cuff and the black hatchet earrings up there. And then we did like a classic vintage velvet maxi skirt to go with this to kind of goth it up a little bit. So she has like more of a comfortable gothic forest fairy side over here. So for this option, we did this super cute phase bell sleeve top. It's a dead stock piece and we paired it with our eye girl rosary and the pierced studs. I think I'm wearing both those pieces in the photo example. I know I'm wearing the pierced studs. Was I wearing Not the pierced the I go rosary. The hat you were wearing the hat rosary. Oh, okay. Well, that. yeah, I was wearing a rosary, and then yeah, it goes with that perfectly. And then we paired it down here with this like asymmetrical trim fairy skirt. It has this tag, Joe Ben Bassett. And yeah, it's super stretchy, and she can wear it high waisted with this piece. And it kind of just gives like a matching set vibe. So I think she'll really enjoy that. And we also threw in this old school gothic postcard. And then for her third option, we did another dead stock piece, this tutu dress, and it has like corset detailing and the tutu down here. And then we paired it with um, just like a classic pair of black sheer tights that she can like slash. <laughs> it's fine. Um, that she could slash up a little bit and wear with this. And honestly, she could wear it with that outfit too, or all three. And then we did our black bow sleeves and our grim necklace that we just restocked. And then for her fun extras, we did our Fallon set. She's totally sold out. So the shorts and long sleeve. The skirt probably needs to be clipped. I think it's gonna be a little big, but. <laughs> ah! Okay, here's a. 90s fruits mag girl we she said she loves wearing and dresses and there's this photo of me and ruby in her pinterest board that she had like a dress well me and her were both wearing dresses over jeans over sweaters so we gave her that look um so yeah we did this stack and this vintage i think it's dkny the sweater and then this is another vintage brand and then these silver jeans that have like 
these cute little slits on the side. Oh, both these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, do we need a pull up your thing? No. Fruits. I remember. Yeah. Okay, so this is Fruits Magazine. What do we call that bundle? Fruits Street Style. 90s fruit Street Style Bundle. I don't she, think it was 90s. I think it was just... I, yeah, I think it was just... I think fruit, it's just fruit style. Yeah. Is it? I, no, pause it. It <laughs> might not be... Oh, but you should pull up her uh, her Pinterest so I can show those photos. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fruit street style bundle. She says, I love items that I can layer <laughs> with. <laughs> Is it wide angle? No. I love items that I can layer with slash I enjoy wearing both masculine and feminine looks. Vintage dresses especially. And she hates tight fitting bottoms. And then she said she has no eye girl jewelry and she loves the rosary. Um, she gave us her Pinterest. Yeah, it's like fruits-esque, but more on the muted side is what we think she's wanting. And she definitely loves like a, a layered dress situation. And she said that she loves vintage dresses. We did one look that was totally inspired by this one right here for more of like her masculine side. And then, um, yeah, we gave her some cute dresses too, but here's a little glimpse into her board. We did a similar kind of layering switch to this. And yeah. Okay, so first off, um, I guess I'll start with this one. So we did this super cute dress. I'll show you quickly by Exhilaration back in the day. And it has this like, beige and baby blue and cream plaid pattern happening and she said that she loves layering so we included this vintage dkny 90s sweater that she can layer on top and then also with these silver jeans like they're kind of like boot cutty flare situation and they have like contrast stitching and the silver tab um on the side there that she can layer up and it's like super cute and still gives her those like muted tones that were happening in her pinterest board and then we also included the green bow sleeves that she could put underneath for another little layering stitch and it ties into the the earthy tones in the plaid and then we did the eye girl rosary the locket and the anarchy studs and then over here, we did something more on her masculine side that she was mentioning. We did this awesome collared shirt with like this vest situation. It has a big Christian death patch on the back, which is awesome. And then, yeah, she could like button this up too. Or like you can also use the um, buttons over here to button it up here for like a whole different look. It's very versatile. And then we included the black Lilith, the black Lilith rosary, the doomed headband, this awesome rave maxi skirt it has the old rave logo there. And then, yeah, we just used this on our pierced keychain listing actually. But yeah, and she also had a lot of like cargo-y style things. And this is like a canvas cargo material. And then we did our iGirl ring pack, this Unifé bag. We attached the Omen keychain. And she said that she loves vintage dresses. We included this dress, which is like so flippin' precious. There was lots of like baby doll oversized collary dresses in her Pinterest as well. So we think she'll love this. And she could also pair that over the jeans over here or yeah, layer how she pleases. We included our brand new ribbon that we're releasing with our summer morning collection, which is coming out July 7th. And um, yeah, so that she could wear it in her hair with this outfit for like a little fun addition. But yeah, this is rare shit. Okay, grunge star right here. She's ordered a bundle before. Last time she got Switchblade Sweetheart and she told us that she doesn't like to show her shoulders and she said she likes baggier jeans and she likes mini mini and mid-length skirts and i think that was it right i think so it's like the gist of it um okay so first option here we gave her this levi's denim mini it's just like super cute and classic and like distressed to the nines. And I love how the pockets are hanging out the bottom too. Oh, she said she loves cute graphics. 
So we included this Mojo Jojo tee that's actually from my closet. I think there is a Powerpuff Girls logo on the back. Yeah, it has the Cartoon Network Powerpuff Girls logo. Um, I think it's from like 2001 or something. We paired it with this flannel jacket that has like a fleece interior and this hood. And then for her jewelry, we did our chainsaw necklace. Yeah, as we said before, she likes cute graphics and we saw lots of like cutesy kind of kawaii inspired things in her depop likes too so i feel like she'll appreciate that charm and then we did our horny headbands and pierced studs we threw in this 31 rob zombie tote she can like throw her books in for school or whatever day adventure she's got going on we did a vintage black slip layered with this cannibal corpse tee in the grunge star photo example, I'm wearing like a Dracula tank. So I'm sure she'd be into like more of a hardcore graphic too. And then she gets some range with like a cute graphic and like a more hardcore one. This vintage flannel that she could, honestly, yeah, she could wear this with either look. We did our eye girl rosary, the rabid choker. And we saw our haunted hat was in her Depop legs. So we included that as well. We did the tortura cuff that'll like poke out from the bottom of the flannel. Some fishnet thigh highs with black lace. For her fun extras, we threw in this fishnet top that she could layer like underneath the tee in this look or under that look, or just like mix and match as she wants. A pair of baggy black denim that she could buy Gitano jeans. Um, yes, and she said that she loves baggy denim. And then she gets like her mid length, her mini length and her baggy denim, so. Yeah, hopefully we hit all her points. Rock of Love Reject. This is for my friend Kate. Um, she runs Scandal Beauty. They do like awesome nails and stuff. You should check. Oh my God, I can't fucking talk. You should definitely check them out. Um, but yeah, she messaged and was like, I can't believe nobody's ordered MySpace Famous yet. She's like, I love that, but she has to go with Rock of Love Reject. I do get it. Rock of Love Reject is a very good one and totally up her alley. And she's definitely into like stuff more on the gothy side too. I know she loves like old school lip service and all that. So we kept that in mind too. And she said, one love right now is anything super low rise, including micro minis plus belts. I also love anything lace up, jeans, skirts, tops, etc. And a thing I tend to avoid is anything too cropped and yellow. She sent her Pinterest board and we can take a look at it quickly. So there's definitely a lot of like pink and black and like there was these super micro booty shorts. There were these socks that we definitely tied into with the bundle, which we'll show. Some crazy statement belts. And yeah, definitely lots of lace up gear. And yeah, like I was saying before, like old goth lookbooky stuff. Classic trashy vibes. There's lots of Xtina mini tiny belt skirts. And yeah, this is like the colorways she's into. Okay, to start off, we included these insane shorts. I'm actually so happy that she's getting them because I get to see them again one day. I literally love them so much. But yeah, it has these like quilted detail, like embroidered pockets up back here. And it's by that brand used. I think it's called Get Used, honestly, but it just says used there. And yeah, it, so it looked exactly like that one photo on her Pinterest board. So we thought that would be perfect. And then we paired it with this statement deadstock belt. I think it's by Phase or Bullet 69. Cool. But yeah, very rocker chick, 2000s cuteness. Did a pack of our jelly bands, the version one. And in the photo example, I'm wearing this Queen of Darkness top with this like little skull charm in the center. So I thought she would love to get that. Uh, yeah, it's like halter and like ties in the back. And she doesn't have our coffin, so we included that in our pierced studs. And then for her middle option here, we did, she said that she loves mini skirts, and we had this super cute one. It's by Blue Notes, which Ruby doesn't recognize the brand, so I'm thinking it's a Canadian brand. But we definitely had it in our malls in Canada, and Kate is also Canadian, so I'm like, here's a little ode to that. And yeah, it has this lace trim on the bottom and some distressing on the pockets. It's just like, honestly, so cute. I have um, a similar skirt in my wardrobe too. We did a classic juicy sweater up here. It's like the grayish brown mm -hmm. uh, material. And then we paired it with our Tarte necklace. We hunted down a pair of our like jumbo hoops that have like our little cursive logo on it. 
And then we paired it with our charmed bracelet. We gave her this little purse too, which we've used in a bunch of shoots recently. It's just like super good. You have to see the inside. It's like all cheetah. But yeah, definitely rock of love hottie. We paired it with one of our Illy Dice keychains. For her bonus look, we gave her one of our Sin skirts, like our vinyl micro mini skirts. And then there was that photo of Ashley Simpson in her Pinterest board wearing like some knit uh, thigh high socks. So we included these. This awesome top, what's the brand? Born Famous Couture. It's awesome. And oh my God, yeah, it has crazy wings on the back. I think she's gonna love this. There, yeah, there's lots of like Ed Hardy stuff too in her board. So I think she'll be into that. <laughs> Okay, this is a Gothic Forest Fairy bundle. Ruby and Joe basically did this whole bundle. I just walked in, but it's Slay. I'll explain it. Um, she said that, oh, well, I'll show you her Pinterest board first. So, oh, I always forget yours pops up at the bottom. There you go. Okay, this is her Pinterest board. She definitely likes more of like a grungy Earth Fairy vibe. We saw she had some UNIF in there, and yeah, a lot of muted tones. Very cute. And then she said, keep in mind, I live in Utah. Since it's summer here, it gets really hot. So although I love layering in cardigans, something weather appropriate would be appreciated. And then she also said that she doesn't like super loud prints or colors, no camouflage, animal print, neon colors, etc. And then she told us what eye girl she has. Okay, so we'll start over here. We did this cargo skirt. It has like this awesome like brass hardware detailing. We paired it with this lacy top up here that's by Express, layered with a vest. I think this is like papaya or what is it? Fashion magazine, cute. Um, yeah, this is like very much giving the vibe of her Pinterest board. So I feel like she's gonna slay it and also very summer appropriate. Her eye girl rosary, these little frames up here, the pierce studs and black bow sleeves. We also threw in this, um, what would you call this material? It's just like knit. Yeah, it's like a knit tank that's like totally distressed on the front. So she could wear like a black lace bra underneath with this cargo skirt as well. And honestly, like same stack situation for like another option. Yeah, as we said before, she had like UNIF on her Pinterest board. So we included this UNIF summer dress. It has like floral lace on top and like a slip layer underneath. And then yeah, satin accents up here. And we did a pack of our black jelly bands and our button necklace. Honestly, the button necklace would look really cute with this look too because of the brass hardware and that skirt. If she wants to be like a little bit more matchy matchy. And then we included this bag that's from my personal wardrobe that's just like screaming Gothic Forest Fairy. There was a lot of like messenger bags, crossbody bags in her um, Pinterest board too, so. She can definitely get some use out of that. And then over here, we did this super precious dress. It has like gray lace up here in this little ribbon trim. It's by NBL, I've never heard of that, but whatever they are, they slayed this. And then for stack, we did the iGirl locket and this adorable little ball chain necklace. It looks like almost like a belly ring or something, which is sweet. The iGirl ring pack. Okay, so this is a haunted heiress. She said she also loves the gothic forest fairy style. She is, she said, I love midi dresses and I'm a singer and I perform all the time. So I'm always looking for something that moves, <laughs> moves, moves beautifully on stage. I don't like pants slash shorts. My Instagram is angeldreamgirl777 and her, this is her music on Spotify. She gave us the deets. Yeah, first thing we did was listen to it. We were like, we need to get a grasp of her vibe. Okay. Have She's got a pretty voice. It's cute. Here it is. Killing it. That's it. She said she doesn't have any eye yet. Okay, so. 
Let's start over here. So yeah, Ruby in the photo example is wearing like an all white outfit, like this like old Betsy Johnson punk label lace dress and like a little trunk purse and like a little lace like uh, Cardi thing. So we wanted to do an all white look. And we, when we looked at her Instagram too, she definitely wants like haunted heiress, but on like the lighter side. So um, yes. So we did this awesome corset. We saw on her page that she definitely likes a corset. So yeah, we did this guy. It has like a little satin bow. We did our Lilith rosary in white. And I could tell on her page that she definitely loves a good pair of earrings. So we did the lullaby earrings. And then we threw in these little cream ribbons that she could throw in her hair. The halo bangles and this vintage slip skirt that's just like super dainty and adorable. And then we also gave her a pair of our Soro socks she could pair down there with like some Mary Janes or a little boot or something. This adorable cardigan top, it has like these little hook and eye closures in the front and she could wear it like partly open with like a cute little bra underneath with that too. I actually just bought this dress for myself, but um, I think she's gonna be obsessed with it. The Haunted Heiress definitely has a little bit of like a Western vibe in the photo too. And on her page, she definitely like um, pull some Western-ish looks. So she could definitely wear this with like some cowboy boots as like a stage look. And then we also saw that she likes gold hardware. So we did some of her gold pieces. Our sold out limited run dolly ring. We did the eye girl locket and we did our gold bubble studs. We threw in an extra look for her because she said the thing about like she loves like a midi length dress that like flows nicely. And this dress literally fits so fucking good. I tried it on and yeah, it like flows perfectly. It's almost like gothy Marilyn Monroe vibes and it's like backless and halter strapped. And this gives her her, cause she mentioned that she likes gothic forest fairy. Um, it gives her like a little bit of a gothic forest fairy vibe without being too forest fairy. Cause it's still like fancy bougie vibes like the haunted heiress. And then we did our brass heart necklace and a pair of our black bow sleeves that she could just like scrunch up and yeah. She is a post-apocalyptic punk. She is, she said that she loves a standout topper pant. She said, I love trip New York City and lip service and mini skirts. One limitation is I don't like capris. And then she gave us her Pinterest board. Yeah, she definitely wants like post-apocalyptic, like a little bit. The Pinterest girlies. Mm -hmm. Pinterest girlies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, here's a little glimpse into her brain. And then, yeah. Okay, so we'll start in the middle. We did this look here. We gave her this statement, Jack Skellington, dead stock, like Nightmare for Christmas long sleeve it has this barbed wire barbed wire detail on the sleeves and then the nightmare logo on the back and then we paired it with our classic eye girl rosary the horny headband and then we just found this awesome taxi crossbody bag that we just styled with for a shoot the other day it's very cute we paired it with some baggy carhartt jeans they're like distressed and awesome and i feel like they're really in like color scheme that was in her Pinterest board. We did a white zip belt. We did this queen of darkness dead stock pant chain that she could attach. Second outfit over here, we did, Joe in the photo example is wearing a camo skirt and we had this adorable one that has like these brassy details on it and this jumbo buckle. So, and there was also a photo on her Pinterest board of a girl wearing like a little mini pleated skirt with like a oversized hoodie on top. And this was kind of giving me that vibe, but like even cuter. So this awesome zip up with like furry lining on the interior. And then we paired it with this like classic 90s knit underneath. It probably looks a little hairy right now because this sweater is hairy, but I'm sure it'll come right off. It's old school forever. We did the evil eye girl rosary and anarchy sets. We threw in a bonus look as well. We wanted to give her a dress option too. So she has like a pant, a skirt, and a dress. So we did this darling dress. It has like, it's like plaid detailing up here and down here. It's like literally so fucking cute. We've had such a hard time like getting rid of this dress because we love it. We just used it on the website too for the tart, the brass tart listing. We did our button necklace, or it's called the Grim necklace. 
And then this hat, there was a similar hat like this on her Pinterest board too. And then we did our black bow sleeves that she could scrunch up. I honestly love this outfit. Excuse me. Oh, exit chain, duh. <laughs> yeah, Joe is also wearing the exit chain in the photo. So we gave her one of these. These are a coveted one. These aren't coming back, so voila. Okay, so this is for Juliet. They said that they want a rock, or actually they gave us three options. Rock of Love Reject, Gothic Forest Fairy, Post-Apocalyptic Punk. And they ended up choosing Rock of Love Reject. I think that's what Justin was saying in the emails, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, they chose Rock of Love Reject. They said, I love chunky accessories like bamboo or hoop earrings, any earring really. I love belts, layering, necklaces, tights, stockings, long socks, gloves. I like sexy outfits. I that's why I chose Rock Club Reject. I love bags, purses, and skirts, crop tops, or anything sexy and hot, really. Animal print is my favorite as well. Also love maybe Matea's style on Instagram right now. And they gave us their TikTok and their Instagram. So I'll start in the middle here. So they said that they love animal print. So we did this insane trip New York City. It has this like cheetah panel, these cheetah panels in the front, uh, corset top. And then we paired it with our exit chain and the sold out cursive hoops. And then down here we did classic little trashy denim mini skirt with like brown stitching. And then they said that they love belts, so we threw in our zip belt, our Fallon purse, and then we included our pierced keychain that they can attach to the zipper pull. And then over here, we looked at their Instagram too, and they're definitely like on the gothy side and down for like a statement look and for showing skin. So we're like, hell yeah, let's do a sin skirt. So we did the vinyl sin skirt and it comes with the garter straps down there. We paired it with this Harley Davidson rib tank and then our Raven necklace, the she devil hoops, the she devil pendant, and the tortura cuff over there. We're also including this as a bonus top that would look super cute with the exact same like accessory stack with the sin skirt. So there's that little option. And then bonus look, we did the Fallon dress so that they get a dress option and then some fishnets. Classic. They could even put the belt with the dress. Oh yeah. That'd be cute. And the belt goes with the sun skirt too. Yeah. Yeah. Slay. Bye. Okay, so there's that video. Um, I have a bunch more footage to edit of like creative process and just more behind the scenes that's happening over here yonder. So I'm flying to New York tomorrow and I will edit that on the plane, but I hope you like this video. And yeah, bundles come back this Sunday at 1 p.m. Thank you so much, Ellie.